The Trail of Tears. So now we're going to learn a really sad part about American history and how we've mistreated uh, people that were different. The United States government did not treat people fairly. Uh, of course, none of us were around for these um, disastrous events, but we need to learn about them so we can treat all cultures with respect uh, that we didn't do uh, back in the day. So let's uh, hear about the Trail of Tears. The theme of movement tells how people, goods, and ideas move from one place to another. In the 1800s, people traveled on horses, wagons, boats, or trains. Goods were sent on wagons, trains, or ships. Ideas were told by one person to another. Some ideas were shared in newspapers. Read the paragraphs about the Trail of Tears. Study the picture and the map. In 1838, most Cherokee lived in Georgia and nearby states. Other American Indians of the Southeast had been forced to move west to Indian Territory before 1838. The Cherokee were the last Indian nation to leave the Southeast. In May 1838, the United States Army began to force about 17,000 Cherokee to leave their homes. The Cherokee were divided into groups. Some groups used land routes. They traveled through many states to reach Indian, and Indian Territory. Many people walked to Indian Territory. Some rode on horses. Older people traveled in wagons. Other groups used a water route. They traveled in boats on different rivers to Indian Territory. Both routes were very dangerous. In June 1838, the first group of Cherokee began the long trip west. The trip was more than 800 miles. The trip was hard. There... was not enough food and water. The winter was very cold. People did not have enough warm clothes and blankets. About 4,000 Cherokee died on the way to Indian Territory. The Cherokee called this hard trip the Trail of Tears. In March 1839, the last group on the Trail of Tears reached Indian Territory. The Cherokee brought their language, religion, songs, and customs to Indian Territory. They continued to tell old Cherokee stories to their children. They started a Cherokee capital city called Tahaliqua. Today, more Cherokee live in Oklahoma than in any other state. Here's the map. These are the questions you'll be doing. Now, it's amazing how kind of cold the article is because it told facts. And even the facts are sad. Um, it was awful how the Native American Cherokee tribe was treated. Uh, it's a very sad blight on uh, American history. And uh, you should learn about it and know about it. All right, let's hope we can prevent things like this in the future. See you tomorrow. Bye.